Hey everyone, welcome back to POA for you. It's Leroy again, and today we're going to go to 2020 O levels paper one, question two. Uh, the topic is on correction of errors. If you know of a friend who could benefit from this video, please share it with them. All right, let's get right into it. So, uh, question is strong owns a business at the end of the year Chong identifies two errors the first error credit sales 5005 was recorded as 550 only so there's an under recording of the amount uh, and the second one 625 received from S Yin uh, has been incorrectly credited to J Yin now you got to be strong in your journal entries fundamental or double entries and if you think that you want to do better at it I've got a video on journal entries um, in my channel so go search for it and it that video should help you very much so let's see what I have now now I think there there are for this address the question here to uh, prepare the general and the journal entries to correct these errors you got to ask yourself a few questions right what was that right uh, what was the journal entries that were done and what should have been done instead then you can identify the correction so let's do it for the first um the first transaction or the first error so what was done was in the sale they recorded it as 550 instead of 5500 so journal entries for sales is debit trade receivables credit sales and this they did it for 550 only now what did they what should have been done was to put the amount, the same journal entries, put the amount to 5,500. So what is the correction of error? If you, if you compare these two, then you know that you have done the correct journal entries. So there's nothing for you to reverse, but you have to top up the amount from 550 to 5,005. So the difference is 4,950 and therefore your correction of errors is the same set of journal entries, but for the difference between these two, right? Now the second one, uh, what was what was done? Let's see. When you receive money from S Yin, you debited cash and bank, but you credited trade receivables to J Yin's account instead of six twenty five. What should have been done is you should have debited cash at bank, credited trade receivables to S Yin, not J Yin. So the debit to cash at bank is correct, right? But you have credited this incorrectly, and you did not credit. As yin. So to correct this mistake, you then have to reverse this entry, this credit entry to J yin by debiting J yin of 625 and then you reinstate the correct credit entry to S yin of 625. So that's it. Now the next part of the question is saying that our oh, profits for the year you know, was 19,825. Now for each of those corrections 1 and 2, Tell me whether it will impact profits in the way of decreasing it, increasing it, or no effect. So the first error, correction of error was 4950, if you recall, 4950, and the second correction was 625. Now, to know whether any of these uh, correction of errors would impact profits, you have to see whether the correction of errors was debited or credited to the uh, an account that would flow into the income statement or the statement of financial performance. So let's take a look at that. So we, we would only zoom into the correction uh, of errors, the correction journals, right? Because these are the ones that were ultimate, we ultimately did to correct the errors. So this one, trade receivables is a is not an income statement or financial statement of financial performance item. It's a statement of financial position or balance sheet item, but sales is right. So if it, it, it is a statement of financial position, a performance item or income statement, it will impact income. Uh, profitability and if you think about the uh, income statement or statement of financial performance anything that is credited to anything that's lands in that statement uh, that falls on the credit side will improve profitability because profitability ultimately is the excess of revenues and income versus expenses so revenues and income is on the credit nature side and expenses are debit nature side so naturally anything that's credited to this account would improve profitability so i'm going to drag the 4950 right into here it's going to increase it and i'm going to just put it here and here and let's look at 
this um, second correction. This two trade receivables, these two entries, or this entry is to trade receivables only, and these are balance sheet or statement of financial position items. It's not going to hit the income statement, the statement of financial performance, or, or profitability. So the impact to profitability is no effect. So I'm going to drag this here. Oops, I'm going to drag this here. And therefore, my adjusted profit for the year will be simply 19872 plus 4950. And the answer would be 2488. So that's it. Um, the, the third part of this question is error of principle, compensating error, error of complete reversal. Uh, these are in your textbooks. They are pretty standard, so I'm not going to go through them. Better. So thank you very much. A uh, short video and hopefully it's been helpful. Send me your questions if you have any or let me know if you want me to do any other videos on topics uh, that may interest you. Alright, take care for now.